Hey James, what do you get when you cross choral singers with bad jokes? I don't know. What do you get when you cross choral singers with bad jokes? I don't know either, but I'm pretty sure I don't want to find out. I'm pretty sure we're about to. Bad jokes, ooh, I love them. Bad jokes, can't get enough of them. Ooh, we bad jokes for me. So, Buddha and Jesus were out lounging by the pool. And the Buddha says, I should have made me one of those nobody can depict me rules. Every time they show me, I'm fatter than I appear. And Jesus said, ha, tell me about it. I've been white with blue eyes for nearly 2,000 years. Mr. Noah worked real hard to get the animals on board. Once they had pushed off, he sat down to eat a piece of fruit he'd scored. And what a shock, he noticed there were tons of worms in there. They said we heard you were taking applicants who come in pairs. The Buddhist monk decided to try a famous deli sandwich. But he didn't know how to order, or which kind was more his niche. When the sandwich vendor asked him which version you want to try, he said, make me one with everything, and put it on some rye. Bad jokes, ooh, I love them. Bad jokes, can't get enough of them. Ooh, eat bad jokes for me. So people know that Jesus is called by many names. Among them, the Lamb of God has come to quite the fame. Now, if Mary gave birth to Jesus, just follow me if you can, does that mean Mary had a little lamb? On the first Sunday of Advent, a man walks in with his bird. He says, I'll bet she can sing more beautiful than any choir you've heard. When the moment comes to sing, she's silent, so the man takes the bird and leaves. The bird says, don't be sore, just think of the odds that we can get on Christmas Eve. Progressive Christians pride themselves on their sensitivity, but sometimes they find it difficult to get to solutions quickly. So how many progressive Christians does it take to change a light bulb well? None. They make a coping with darkness study group and try not to talk about hell. Jesus, Muhammad, Moses, Buddha, and Krishna were sitting having tea. As they looked down at the world and people all fraught with misery, they heard the folks spouting this and that about their holy mission. And they all agreed, well, I didn't say that, but they couldn't get no one to listen. Bad jokes, ooh, I love them. Bad jokes, can't get enough of them. Ooh, we bad jokes for me. So, an individual, down on his luck, walked into a wealthy church. When the deacon saw his clothing, he wanted to leave him in the lurch. Why don't you pray to God and ask if there's any other place they want you? He came back and said, God told me not to worry. They've had trouble getting in here too. Hmm. The Israelites wandered 40 years in the desert after they left Egypt. They were trying to find the promised land. At least that's what's in the script. The real reason is a little more simple. If you pause for some reflection, you see, after 39 years, Mr. Moses simply stopped and asked directions. A cunning woman talked to God with that clever mind of hers. She asked, God, what's a minute to you? And God said, a million years. And what's a million bucks? Well, that's a penny if you can win it. She said, God, can I have a penny? And God said, sure, give me just a minute. The preacher asked her flock to raise their hands if they'd forgive all their enemies right now 
and find a new way to live. All but one old woman raised their hand, and oh, she stood so tall. When the preacher asked how she had no enemies, she said, I've outlived them all. Bad jokes, ooh, I love them. Bad jokes, can't get enough of them. Ooh, bad jokes for me.